from the Food Biz Talk. I hope you're all doing excellent. Sorry, my camera's kind of not adjusted right, but I hope you could see me. And um, as I have my camera flipped around, I really hope when I flip it back around, um, I don't see a weird angle or you can't see half of my head. I hope that doesn't happen. But in today's video, what I want to be talking about is how you can easily improve your sales on Just Eat, Deliveroo and Uber Eats. I wouldn't say easily, it takes some work and if you want to take the quicker way, the better way I reckon um, is going to be more expensive, but um, it should hopefully pay off and it does pay off because there's a lot of articles and research done which says if you do this specific thing, it does increase your order by a certain amount. So what that thing is, if you are involved with Just Eat, Deliveroo, Uber Eats or if you're in the US and you're involved in not in, in the US, in any other country and you have a food delivery business partnership, most likely 9 times out of 10 on your menu for each dish you can upload an image. Uh, I just recently read an article on Deliveroo and it stated how Deliveroo kind of got to where they are currently which is literally probably at the top of the UK food delivery partner market. I still don't think they are above Just Eat but they're probably second they come in second probably above uber eats who knows uh, i will probably look into that but they're at the top and a big reason how they became at the top is if if you're a, delu a delivery customer if you've ever used delivery you can see uh, the way it's laid laid out the images the the coloring scheme the interface itself is very easy to use it's very interactive and especially um to me what stands out is the images used for delivery so when I recently used Deliveroo, well, Deliveroo really do invest in photographers and, and food photography. So this is how we as customers, as takeaway owners, how we can leverage this and how we can prosper on our delivery partner apps. And, and a very, especially with the small businesses, uh, a thing which we are not looking into is this specific thing, which is uh, creating images for specific dishes and then uploading it onto, onto their app a document sent by my account manager to someone else but I received that he sent it to me before. This one's updated this from uh, Just Eat and they specify on how to take a picture. It's a very very good in-depth uh, PDF file which shows you how to take a picture, what the dimension should be, what the size should be, how you should save the file and then how you can upload it onto your partner center through your partner center. So it's a really in-depth article. If you are on Just Eat, do ask your account manager or someone and hopefully they can send you this document because it can make a difference to your business, a positive difference. So there's a lot of things to do and um, the main image which is kind of a make or break for your business is the hero image. That's why they call it a hero because there's so much emphasis being put onto that one specific image. That's the big image representing your takeaway. So when your takeaway name is displayed and and there's a usually a food picture in the back or, or something like that, uh, that is called a hero image. And you have to 100% make sure that hero image is good enough to be able to get customers uh, ordering from you. So for that specifically, if you are a good photographer, if you have photography background and if you want to save some money, do look into it and do it yourself. If not, you can obviously contact your partners and they'll send over a photographer to you and they'll be taking money off you. I believe, I'm not sure, I don't think it's up from payment. They'll probably take the payments off the invoices until the payment is sold. There's a few things which uh, I just want to bash out. Obviously, I work in Indian takeaway so there's a lot of dishes you're looking at about 100 dishes 80 to 100 dishes we can't produce that in one day and tell the photographer to take pictures that's it's gonna it's gonna be very time consuming and it's just gonna be expensive too at the same time so what you can do is when that dish goes out or or you could just tell or you could just if it's a quiet day you could prepare that dish yourself and then make sure you have a good quality cam camera you can either use your phone or you can invest in a camera uh, Obviously, a good quality camera, it makes it easier for you to create good social content, social media content, and at the same time, you can use it for this as well. So, uh, invest in a good camera, um, or make sure you have a phone which has a really good camera, and get your 
uh, knowledge of photography kind of increase usually a lot of phones in this generation the expensive ones or the good ones they have a filter which already knows what kind of thing you're taking a picture of so it automatically senses that and if your phone does have that then happy days so what you want to do is make sure uh, you also have a clear background and a, a good thing a photographer once told me or told someone else and someone told me is use the wallpaper so a blank white wallpaper or a brick style wallpaper uh, use that as the background picture so you set it out on the table and then you put the dish on top of that wallpaper and then you simply take a picture so that makes it look more professional and, and just has that extra quality to it. You can do this easily. You could do it through Just Eat. You can uh, do it on your restaurant hub in Uber Eats or you could uh, or you could do it in your restaurant hub in Deliveroo. It's very simple. I'm not saying it's simple, but the uploading process, it looks very simple. I haven't really got my hands that dirty on it, but I do hopefully intend to do it and it should really increase your orders. Yeah, so as you can see, all the big brands are utilizing are utilizing this too. So if you look at a McDonald's, German Donut Kebab, if you look at the menu on Just Eat Delivery, Uber Eats, uh, they are utilizing this heavily. And our aim as a small business is to hopefully to kind of um, be at that level someday, even though it's very hard, but it's not impossible. And whatever we can intake, uh, we should replicate that as much as possible from them in a positive way, obviously. So... So if they're doing it, it just goes to show it's something that it, it, does, it is important and it does count and it's something that we are not looking into. So I've, I've seen a lot of small businesses, they are not looking into this at all and it's just something for you to leverage, for us to leverage right now and hopefully get on top of. So yeah, you, you could see the, the, the McDonald's menu, the, the German Donut Kebab menus, it's all that. Uh, they have literally every single dish even though even though their menu is small but they're still making the effort to invest in the photography and and just improve their customers online digital experience when they they place orders with them so another reason why you should really be doing this is that it gives the customers a better visual of what they're expecting so if there's already an image there on 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 the website they know hey that looks nice and sometimes even just by the image they will be placing that order because it just looks nice and and that could be a big contributor to which dish sells the best for you uh, but because it just looks the best and usually the ones that look the best and the tastiest are the most expensive so hopefully that can increase revenue and profit at the same time so uh, a delivery a delivery uh, article did say that it increases order by six percent uh, that was previously stated i'm not sure currently but six percent that is a massive figure and that's something that you know it's 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 it anyone can do with a six percent increase ten percent increase in their business by that's why guys look into this all right so that's it for today's video i hope you guys did enjoy it and if there is any questions do drop in the comment section below and as always i'd love that subscribe make sure you kill that like button and hit that subscribe button i'd really appreciate it and until next time take care peace